Okay, here is a very quick tutorial at um, how to add an Apple Touch icon to a Google site. What is an Apple Touch icon? Well, let me quickly show you. Here's a Google site, and I'm going to add it to my home screen as a home screen bookmark. So I'm going to tap on the share arrow and then add to home screen. Now when that comes up I get the chance to uh, rename the site and you can see here that in the top left I've got that very generic Google Sites logo so that when I tap add to my home screen that's what the icon looks like. We're going to take a look at how to customize that and how to change that into something more reflective of your site content. So there are lots of tools you could use to uh, create your Apple Touch icon. You could use Adobe Photoshop, you could use Photoshop Express, uh, Mac users might like Pixelmator, I love that one. Uh, but today I'm going to use a free online service called Pixlr and I'm going to start here just by uh, tapping uh, open photo editor. So this is at pixlr.com. I'm going to create a new image and I am going to call this Apple touch icon with hyphens in between. Now the name of the file that you're creating is important so try and get it um, so it looks just like this so apple hyphen touch hyphen icon with well it only needs to be 144 by 144 and that includes for um, the new iPad so tap OK on that here it is, I'll just uh, make it a little bit bigger. So there's my square for my icon. I'm going to give it a little uh, gradient. So I'll just choose the gradient tool here. Tap up here on the colors. There's plenty to choose from. I'll just take this blue one and you can customize all these colors, change them to whatever you want. I will just click and drag. Drag down here so I've got a nice uh, gradient. There it is. And at this point, if I wanted to, I can come over here and choose the text tool. And I can click in here to get some text. So I can type some text. Let me see, I could probably change that color to something a little better on that dark blue background. And if I want to, I can go through and, you know, change any of the fonts to anything that I would like to. I can make it a little bit bigger and hit OK and you know I could leave it at that if I wanted to um, but I think what I'm going to do for this example is put an image on so I'm just going to take that one out undo that and I'm going to bring in a new image so I go to file and open image I find the image I want so this little uh, mobile device icon here I'm going to take I'm going to select it by doing Command A or on a PC, Control A. Then I'm going to do Command C or Control C just to copy it. Then I'm going to select my other window here and I'll just do Command V or Control V to paste it on. And there it is. Now, it might not look like the Apple icon you might be expecting on your iPad. It hasn't got those nice rounded corners or that little reflection shadow over the top. Apple does all that for you. So all you have to do now is save this image. So we're going to file and save. And it's an Apple Touch icon. I'm going to save it as a PNG file. And hit OK. I'm just going to leave it on my desktop. And there it is. So next we just go over to the Google site. And here we are. So I'm going to click more. I'm going to go down to manage site. On the left hand side here, I'm going to click Attachments and I'm going to upload a new image. So there's that Apple Touch icon I had before. Click Open. That's it. It's done. Um, I can go back to the home screen of the website here. It doesn't look any different until we go over to the iPad and check it out. So let's do that now. Okay, so here we are in Safari on the iPad and I'm going to do that add to home screen action again. So tap on the share icon, add to home screen and look, my icon is brand new, it's different. If your icon doesn't come up um, different, it's still got the Google Sites logo, just uh, refresh the site and it usually kicks in that new image upload. So this time I'm going to click add 
and here it goes on my home screen with that new logo I created in Pixlr. So nice and easy, nice and straightforward, good easy way to put an Apple Touch icon on your Google site.